WTMP HD, Egypt Lake, Tampa, and now on 102.1 in Pinellas County. Live. Please like and share, like and share with all your friends and family so that we will continue being worldwide delivering the good news from Tampa, Florida. With seatbelts on, we got a lot of information. I can't hear it. Hear the music slowly. All righty, all righty, all righty. Tampa Bay, what we gonna do for the next hour is going to be exciting, different. Hopefully it stirs up your, your political juices. Stir something up. So get ready. If you're going to call in the show today, the call in number is 888-247-8712. 888-247-8712. Now, if you want to call me like a great listener did last week on Clearwater, this brother called me. And I've been doing this show for 13 years, almost 14. And we had a conversation like I have not had with a caller since I've been doing this show. <clears throat> this brother actually get it. Mm -hmm. There are what I want to call some enlightened people. Oh. You know, some people who see the light. Mm -hmm. and everybody don't see the light. <clears throat> no. I mean, the light can be bright, shining over their head, melting, melting wax, and they still don't see mm -hmm. it. Let me get my number <laughs> or get too far on this tongue. If you want to call me like this brother did, 813-312. Course Talk Radio is here live for those on Facebook Live. Live. Good to have you guys, uh, you know, watching the show. But... But when the brother call, you connect. And, and, and I've been doing this a long time. And it's not many people, not many black folks, that really get what I'm talking about, about what happened in ancient Egypt, why you never see a picture Mm -hmm. Of what supposed to have been the most beautiful woman on uh, on earth ever? Mm. How many pictures have you seen of Cleopatra? You see a whole bunch of people from that time, and 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 nowadays when you see Cleopatra, you see you see Liz Taylor. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm telling you. And, and every now and then you may see an Arab looking woman. In a picture, uh, uh, in a movie, or something playing Cleopatra, but there's a reason you don't see black women in the movies from way back then, because there's a process in which Europeans have went through to diminish what black people said and did. Now I'm gonna tell you something. Many of you know, and some of you choose to ignore, mm -hmm. but black people are very creative. I mean, out of nothing, mm -hmm. creating something. And it's either beautiful or, or useful. Mm -hmm. Those are the two, two requirements. Because everybody's not creative. A lot of people wish they were creative, but they're not. There's a certain natural gifted, talented process that has to go on. And it's a lot of people that have the ability to notice someone else's genius or creativity. Say Bill Gates. I mean, Bill Gates ain't never created nothing. He, he saw somebody else's with something. Mm -hmm. He saw them not using it to its fullest potential. He lowballed, bid, 
give, gave them an unfair price. I mean, they may have thought it was fair, yeah. like the Indians and, and the Beast for, 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 for New York. For New York. I mean, you know, I mean, we could look back and say, well, you know, back then, no, it wasn't. It wasn't even fair back then. But, but Bill Gates pretty much stole the whole Microsoft process and, and all the stuff that they are doing and cursor and, and the, the way they set their, their screens up and all that kind of stuff. I'm not a tech nerd, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you, he ain't, he ain't create none of that. He saw it, saw a use for it, made an unfair offer, it was accepted, and the rest is history. Now, one thing I want you guys and girls to, to know and understand. You can only change history so much. That's the real truth is still out there. You know, what those folks did in, 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 in Egypt way back then, there's still enough evidence hanging around in statues and monuments and pictures and and on cave walls and stuff that, that do tell a story. And, and one thing about time, time keeps passing on. And, and people keep getting smarter and smarter. And, and eventually, the real truth comes out. There have been signs of the times, and Europeans have always gloated and, and, and celebrated discoveries. We discovered that. We discovered this. You know, we did this. We did that. I got a giant museum. Let me put all this stuff in it. See, but what happened along the way, they got the museum, and they took all of that stuff from somewhere else. You know, it wasn't like, okay, all these things come from Germany, somewhere in our territory, and, and we was a great civilization. No, it came from somewhere else. And, and London, and, and, and Paris, and, and, and Portugal, e even parts of China, you know, all of that stuff that's in those museums, it ain't about Chinese history, German history, French history, English history. Most of that stuff came from some dark, as they used to say back in that day, continent. Because if you go back 5,000 years, most of those other continents didn't have a whole bunch of people doing doing math mm -hmm. and science and <clears throat> building giant colossal buildings that's still here. That came from that black country that did all that, right? The black <laughs> nation. Egypt yeah. is located where any? All the places in Africa. Uh, uh. See, that's the thing. That's the, the thing about it. If you not being creative, if you just taking people's stuff and, and claiming it to be your own and stealing people's food and and, 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 and and then when you do do something, we discovered America. We discovered South America. We discovered, okay, but when you got there, these savages had already came and gone and been declared gods. Yeah, you go to South America, you see a lot of statue of black folk, and they, and, they, and they call them gods. We have been systematically brainwashed. Hey. I talked about this a couple, of weeks, a couple of weeks ago. When the whole world sets out make you feel like of all the people on the planet, you the least of all the people on the planet. You 
dumb and you're stupid. You don't have anything. You still got people living in huts. But see what 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 they don't tell you? They still got people living in huts. But they the first one to live in houses. Mm, indoors, huh? Indoors. <laughs> and it wasn't a cave. See, mm -hmm. they don't tell you that part of it. I'm going to tell you right now. I've been to the Bahamas. I've been to the Caribbean. They still got people living in huts there. You can't say, well, all people, you know, that look like that are still living in huts. Well, technically, we the first one to not live in a hut. And not live in a cave. And if you look around, like I do, I'm looking all the time for black excellence. And I don't have a hard time finding it. On the internet, Facebook, you know, on my computer, you know, every day some, some something is popping up. Did you know this? Did so-and-so built this? So-and-so invented that? 13-year-old black girl did this. 8-year-old black boy did that. You must have been watching CNN then. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Eddie, and real quick, just to add to that, a 15-year-old professional tennis player named Corey Gope, I think, has made history by becoming the youngest black player to ever play in the Wimbledon. I haven't heard that much on you at all. Well, let me tell you something else. Until recently, if you were 16 or 17 years old and a male or female tennis player, you were washed up. Mm. Now they got Serena Williams, you know, in her 30s, and she's now thinking about retiring from a sport that if you're 18 or 19 years old, it's already passed you by. She got a couple of decades added to that. But she got a bunch of millions to, yeah. to, to oh, yeah. I'd retire too early if well, I had a few million. Well, well think <laughs> about saying. it. You know, if you if you think about tennis thirty years ago. Not many black players. And it and and all of them was sixteen, thirteen or fourteen years old. Mm -hmm. You go to the tennis camp, all those were teenagers. Mm -hmm. Tennis was not a sport you can participate in. You know, once you stop being a team, when you got to be 20, you were washed up. Mm. Who changed that? The Serena sisters. Venus and Serena. Oh, there's two of them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes, there's two of them. What I'm trying to say, we as a people have let other people sell us short for so long that we believe it. And that's the problem. We believe that we are the least of the less. We're the bottom of the totem pole. We're not the bottom, we're the top. Because who creates things makes everybody's life better, not just their own. And if you create something and somebody take it away from you, shame on you. That's your fault. Because, because at some point in time, you got you got to have, if you're living today, <clears throat> all you got to do is look back and see how many times that has happened. How many times your people have been taken advantage of. How many times you have come up with something to have somebody snooker you out of it. But that's okay, because we got young black babies born every damn day. More so now than before. And they're just as smart as the ones that was born 3,000 years ago. You know, Eddie, you keep talking about people's mindset being changed to behave the way they are today when they used to be kings and queens, uh, people of extreme intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're getting through today, but I, I really believe I'd heard the Officer Tatum podca podcast where you should talk about how the black uh, society in America has been conditioned more in a communistic way with the systemic racism being trained in the school system that's run by liberal Democrats for decades now. But all that to say that the people, the black people in general, are wanting somebody to fix this to put them back into a certain position of stature, and they believe the government 
because they've been trained by the school system that the government can fix them, the government can handle it. That's why 90% of the black population votes for Democrats to keep them in power. And if we go to any failing school, Democrats run it, no change in sight. If we go to all the big kill cities, Democrats run it, no change in sight. And it's just like they're after, they've been trained, conditioned, and you said this one time about Pavlov's dogs, that, that they have to keep these people in power to keep them down, to keep themselves down. And Eddie, you, you get upset sometimes and say, why do y'all keep doing the same thing over and over and expect something different? Gabriel, you read me. Woo! You read me wrong. It's frustrating. I don't think that anybody is going to save us. Mm. Black uh -oh. folks uh -oh. will have to save themselves. Woo. And I have always said that. Mm. I don't depend or think as a people we should depend on the government to save us. We too damn smart for that. They put you where you are. And let me say something else. Ooh. Let me say something right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give Tampa Bay some knowledge uh -oh. that can help every family. I'm, I'm, I'm directing this to black folks, but every family, mm -hmm. everybody who listening, that can change their life right now. Okay. Like I told you, I met this guy. We had a conversation during the week, and we started talking about globalism. Mm. You know how 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 all over the world, all the Europeans and all the other folks got together and decided, okay, we can't let black folk flourish. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you something. This is something every one of you can do right now. Go get a picture that's a map of the world and look at Africa. Oh, that small continent? Africa is the largest continent on this planet. What? You can put China, you can put America, you can put Europe, and several other small, small currents, okay. small continents yep. inside the one continent of Africa. Hmm. But on the map, you're going to see Africa about the same size as the United States. Now, now see, that's subconscious. Most people won't notice. Mm -hmm. You'll just think Africa is just a regular continent. Mm -hmm. You won't think it's the largest. by looking at it. See, now, if you look at a picture from outer space, from, a, from the spaceship showing you the Earth, Hell, it look look like Africa is half the half the land. Mm, wow! It is that big, huh. but you would not know it by looking at these maps with people drawing, and they have a a a a a, a purpose. The purpose is to never listen well. Never let you know. And half of the gold on this planet mm -hmm. will come from Africa. Nobody must know that. I never heard that before. I find out these things, you know, when I'm doing research. Think about it. All the gold on this planet, half of it will come from Africa. Back to what I was saying about change everybody's life. Mm. And I was talking, and then this was a simple conversation, you know, me and his brother was having. And I bought my house. I moved into my house in 1991. I'm a country boy. My, my, my grandfather was a farmer. He grew everything he ate except for sugar, flour, and meal. Everything else. Mm. And salt. Everything else he grew. Okay. He had hogs and cows and, and bird, chicken and pigeons and and, and he grew corn. You might be a little redneck, you know that. No, I mean, shit, black folks. <laughs> wait, why do you gotta be a redneck type of garden? Matter of fact, we did more farming in this country than the damn rednecks. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we taught the damn redneck how to grow stuff. Because when they came from Africa, they bought certain seeds and certain plants 
with them that they had been using their whole time. Hell, matter of fact, we brought them over here. They wasn't already here. Mm -hmm. So, so like I'm saying, <laughs> you know, my he wasn't like some some super, you know, farmer guy. He, mm -hmm. he it was a lot of people. Matter of fact, this is what that's what I'm fit to tell y'all. If you leave me alone, Jabel. Come on. But in 1991, I got a house. In 1991, I got a garden. You know what I did? Everybody said, I ain't got a, I ain't got a lot of land. I can't do this and take all this. No, <coughs> I'm going to tell you what I did. And every one of y'all can do this. And, and it don't matter what you grow. Because something will grow on your land. I took two feet. I got a fence around my house, around the backyard. I took two feet from the fence, all the way around. I took two feet from the house, all the way around. Mm -hmm. And inside that two feet, I grew collard greens, okra, tomatoes, watermelon, hmm. strawberries, Kaya trees, pomegranate. I mean, you ain't got to try to grow it all at one time, but but you can grow a couple of plants and a couple of little squares of your yard. Mm -hmm. And and now is the time to get your garden ready. You got to kind of you know get the soil ready to put some seeds in it. And if you put some certain things won't grow because it's so hot right now, but come. September, October, that's when you start growing stuff. When it comes January, February, March, you got more stuff. Matter of fact, you can cut your diet down from all that poison, all the stuff that you get in a can. Anything that's in a can, you don't know what's in it. If you go out there in your yard and pluck a, a tomato off a tomato bush, Take it in the house and cut it up and eat it and cook it. You know exactly what's in that damn tomato. It's what's in that tomato is what's in your soul. Now, I don't even use fertilizer. You tell me I don't use fertilizer because that's a big part of the market. Oh, you know, put all this poison in the ground. It ain't for a lot of people, but cow manure. I use cow manure. I go to some people's house, pass them, get some cow manure. You ain't got to use cow manure. When you cut your grass, take your grass clippers, oh, clippers yeah. put them in a big old trash can, let them sit for about six months. Yeah. Then go take that gla the grass clippings, cause cause by that time the, the insects have worked with it and added it to the soil. Take that grass clippings out, put it in your garden, and and it it, 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 it grow as green as any fertilizer ever produced and put in a bag and told you. That this is gonna make your, your your vegetables grow, and on the internet they got tons and tons and tons of secrets of how to do this and how to do that. But what I'm trying to tell you, and if you grow it yourself, so fishing, uh oh, it's healthy, and you know what's in it. And I always have at least one or two bags of of greens, cause cause I grow more greens than I can eat at one time. I give greens to my neighbors. I give greens to my relatives. I give greens to people who want to, to, to. You know, a lot of people don't know how greens taste because they weren't born and raised on greens. Green, greens is an is, is an acquired taste. But once you get it, you got it. Greens and and you can go to Sam's or somewhere and buy some cornbread. And and whatever chicken steak poke chop, whatever kind of meat you want, and you got yourself a good, healthy meal. I know a lot of people don't like to eat meat if you don't eat meat, you know. Grow, grow a bunch of vegetables. All the vegetables you like, you can probably grow right here in Florida. Oh, the show is climbing, yeah. And I forgot to say, I even got cane plants. Oh, really? Sugar cane. Oh. Because when I was a kid, like I told you, we bought everything, they went, they went to the store and got everything, but we had sugar cane, <clears throat> we cut the cane up, squeezed it till the liquid came out, put in, put it in a gallon, big old gallon sh sugar jar, put it in there, put it out there in the sun, and within a day or two, you got cane sugar crystals. Mm. 
you, you, you can either take it and grind it up and put it in your drinks or whatever you want to put it in. Uh, you can just suck on the, on, on, suck, suck on, the on, on, on sugar cane crystal. And nothing is that sweet. It's the same sugar you get when you buy from the stove, except the white sugar is processed. Oh, yeah. The brown one is not. The brown one is just what I get. I get oh. sugar that, that just take it, grind it, grind it. If you got to grind it, you put it in the grinder. You can take it and grind it yourself and use that in coffee for coffee, tea drinkers. Just take a couple of those crystals and drop them in the drink, and it is all natural. Mm. And it's just as sweet. Wow. So, folks, I'm, I'm telling you something that, you know, you know, a lot of people say, say, well, I can't do it. Anybody can do it. You just got to decide that it's something you want to do. And you want you want a healthier meal for your family. And if you grow more than you need, what we used to do, and what I still do, but I learned this from my grandfather, is all you can't eat, give it away. Give it to, to people who... Who you know need it, you know. People always need food, you know. And 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 when you giving canned goods and stuff like that, that's okay. And, and and that's the hunger thing that that folks are pushing, you know. But you know, I I rather give people a couple bunches of a uh, collard green for them to feed their family. You gotta you gotta clean them and and, and wash it's them. Work. Wash it's them. work. Uh, clean, it's a lot of work. That clean, it clean, smells clean awesome. and terrible. You know, but but it's it good. We need them. It, 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 it's how you feel about the process. Mm -hmm. So you see, we've been brainwashed for years and years and years. You know, not to do for ourselves. The more we do for ourselves, the less dependent we are on someone else. Mm -hmm. Especially the government. Okay, now let me get to the, the main topic for the, of the day. It's the warm up here. Okay, I gave you some help. Now let me explain. What happened last week? The governor of the state of Florida, Ron DeSantis, came to Tampa, mm. and I, I heard a lot of stuff. Why? 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 And 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 uh, and I don't want to say it like this. Mm. It may sound bad, but. The governor do what the hell he wants. Uh, I'm putting it straight street language. He he the big dog. He get to slap the hell out of whoever he wants, and that's what he came and did. Oh. Now why he did it? It's more to it than meets the eye. Mm. I thought he wanted to send a message, and I think he picked probably one of the best candidates to send that message to when things start getting out of whack. And you gotta, you know, you don't want to go slap a poodle, mm -hmm. and everybody gonna feel sorry. Mm -hmm. You, you want to go slap another big dog. Mm -hmm. In this state, the biggest dog is the governor. And and every now and then, someone may think, you know, the governor is is, is doing something incorrect. Mm -hmm. But in this state, matter of fact, I think all fifty states work the same way. The governor. Can fire, oh, yeah. suspend. It may not be fair, but but I keep telling you, politics is a blood sport. You looking for fair? It is so many things that happen in a week in politics that's not fair. Mm -hmm. So it can't that can't be your standard fair. If it had to be fair, then they wouldn't have gave him the power. Everybody want to talk about the Trump thing. They playing a big game, and it's going to get nasty. It's going to get bloody. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Because Trump is vengeful. Now, they all know that. But it's more important for them to try to take him down Big time. Then to let him get elected again. He knows where the corruption is, Eddie. He knows everybody's boss mm -hmm. up there. And he got a pretty good idea of what the hell they're doing. Okay, oh, yeah. everybody keeps saying he's not smart, he's not this, yeah. he's, not, he's not that. The problem with 
being the big target. Trump taking a lot of heat for a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people down, down the ticket, down the road, that's not getting fired upon right now because they're too busy firing upon Trump. Now, Trump, Trump is not going to be an issue. See, everybody thinks he's going to be an issue in 2024. Trump's going to be an issue next year. By November, we're going to see it too, eh? Well, they're going to see it. They're going to see it this year. But, see, Trump is not, not on anybody's ballot, ballot right now. By the time Trump show up on somebody's ballot, it's going to be too late to deal with it. See, and you keep talking about the chess game and the checkers. You keep talking about that, and I see where you're headed here now because Trump's playing a bigger game and he learned from being burned the first time. And now he's, he's putting things in place that when he goes to do his thing, all this other stuff is in place. It's going to be, it's just going to have to happen, Eddie. Let me, let me tell, I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge everybody within my ear shy. I mean, if you can hear me speaking, I'm challenging you right now. Look at Nancy Pelosi. Financial records oh, 10 years ago. Look at her wealth. See what her value was 10 years ago. Look up Nancy. Now, now remember, she's had the same job, mm -hmm. you know, for the last couple of years. I know we got a call as soon as I finish this talk. Look at her incremental increases in her personal wealth over the last five years. Look at the rate at which it's increased. We know what her job is, mm -hmm. and we know what her salary is. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Call her back on the Porch Talk Radio on this fine Saturday afternoon. Who are you? Where are you calling from? And what's are you? Hello? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Wade from Clearwater. We spoke uh, off off the air, you, uh, you called me and we had a long, lengthy discussion. Yes, sir, I'm glad you called. Water. Yeah, but uh, one of the things that I would like to re reiterate uh, about Donald Trump and America, I can't understand how this country, with all of the prestigious college graduates and all of this stuff that are working in um, the position of authority when it comes to our government would allow one individual to do what this one guy Donald Trump has done to this country. And what I don't understand as well is why is this happening? And uh, a democratic society and country that has been founded through principles that over the years have had some of the smartest people on the planet that one guy disrupt uh, a, a union like we have now. I, I don't understand how in the world this is possible. Thank you so very much. Thank you for calling. One thing, one thing I need to, 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 to explain. See, in the beginning, <laughs> everybody mm -hmm. thought Trump was a buffoon. Mm -hmm. They, they, they do what American royalty, you know, the big expensive rich folks do, is they overlook this guy. This guy was, see, they had a, they, America got a lot of millionaires. Matter of fact, we got a lot of billionaires. And this guy made his own money, made his mm -hmm. own, made his own way. And what he was saying, just no one had, had said it before. See, that's what I'm saying. Trump came out and said, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And, the, and then, the, then they said, well, he grabbed this lady by the crouch, and, 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 and then he didn't say, I'm right in the hands. I did do it. You know, it was there. I grabbed it. So, you know, he kept, kept on moving. What happened is, by the time they figured out Trump's game, mm -hmm. it was too late. See, again, he, we, everybody was playing checkers. He was playing chess. And he knew where he was going. He knew what his potential was. 
but nobody else did. They kept downplaying, he can't do this, he can't. They kept saying what he can't do. I'm going to tell you what any winner does. He lets you tell him constantly what he can't do. Why in the same light he's doing it. See, see, that's how you, that's, that's a, a real good winner. I want you to keep telling me what I can't do. Because now I got some enthusiasm, I got some push, I got something to prove to you and to myself that I can do this. And every time you do something they tell you you can't do, that gives you more power to go on to the next, and to the next, and to the next. And it depends on how, you know, how far out your dreams go, because I'm going to tell you something. The more they keep messing with Trump, oh yeah, the less time, less energy they spending messing with someone else. So someone else is getting there too. Mm -hmm. Now, Eddie, uh, to his question, he said specifically he didn't know how this was happening. Mm -hmm. You know, because of a Jimmy Carter's terrible programs and plans he had for America, because they were so terrible for America, we got a Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. And then time went along, and because Obama's plans were so horrible for America, for our foreign policy, for our domestic policy, they were so the the Democratic Party lost huge numbers of Democrats in power during the Obama the, the the popular the policies were so unpopular, and so again because of Jimmy Carter we got a Ronald Reagan because of Obama we got Mr. Donald Trump yeah. who said you know what your stuff is crap uh, the Marxist system doesn't work in America and I'm gonna do my best to stop it and right now. The, the Marxist socialists are lining up with the Democratic Party, which have always been there, to try and make a change again. And they're grabbing power, Eddie, like never before, that they think they can just do what they want to do, go raid some houses, a presidential top clearance, security, or whatever they want to call it, the top, the, the highest clearance available, every president that's ever been president of the United States of America will go to their grave with that top top clearance for there forever, Eddie, and there's nothing the Democrats can do about it. Well, see, that's the other thing. He is doing stuff right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. For 2024. You know what happened? He raised so much money the other night when they were doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what his team did? As soon as they started, he, 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 he did another one of those midnight tweets. Mm. And then the next day, his his money doubled. Woo. He had more money, and they're raising. See, see, every time they do something that they think gonna hurt him, he gets stronger. He gets stronger, and that's what we're dealing with. And and, and, and I'm gonna tell tell. I'm talking directly to the black folks now. Stop believing. Mm. Stop believing. You have. They have spent so much time, energy, and money brainwashing you mm -hmm. and trying to make you think lesser of yourself. See, the thing about you asking for reparation, mm -hmm. reparation for slavery, manual labor. Mm -hmm. if, you ever, if you ever want to get paid, ask them to pay you for the money for all the inventions that you invented and, and some white guy came along and mm, took it from you boy. and made billions of dollars. Reparations is, is, is manual labor. You want to get paid for picking cotton, take that money that the country owe you from all those industries that got started off your creative instinct and you come up with an idea even to get to the point to, to making liquor, making Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola was not invented by no white folks. Negroes invented Coca-Cola? Eddie, Eddie, <laughs> as, as long as, as long as in America, the misinformation and the teaching of hate to our children, black children, as long as that continues to happen, Eddie, they're going to continue supporting the Marxist party, period, Eddie. As long as that hate is being taught in school through what CRT was going to be good, they twisted it, perverted the hell out of it, and now, if any white person exists, near a black person, now that black person is supposed to feel oppressed. That's absolute BS. Again, as long as the misinformation and distrust is being taught and trained and conditioned to the children, Eddie, I don't see a thing. Well, the, the, the problem, there's no change. 
see, see, as long as you're waiting on somebody else to Ooh. save you, uh oh, as long as you're waiting on somebody else to save you, you Whoa. will never be saved. Ooh. As a people, we can save our damn self. We don't need nobody to save us. And, and I, I know a lot of people, Porch Talk Radio, you know, if y'all been listening to this, my to my show for 13 years, you know I haven't changed one bit. I am saying today the same thing I said when I started uh-huh. this. Because if you're looking outside of yourself to save you and your family, uh-huh. You're looking the wrong place. Your Savior is in the mirror, and you look at him every day. And I don't care how down you think you are, your potential to do for you and your family is unlimited. It's unlimited. And one day, you're going to be doing something, walking, shopping, begging, you know, sleeping, you know, stuff coming to me in my sleep, too, you know, you know. Something that's going to come to you and say, this is your answer. All you got to do is act on it. Mm-hmm. See, 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 you don't act on enough. You're satisfied. You're sitting back. You know, I, I hear these people talking about rent. And, 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 and I'm saying to myself, this ain't a new problem. It's been around mm-hmm. for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. And People have been going up on rent on families ever since we've been here. What, what's happening now, you know, they've been tearing down houses. They've been tearing down houses in the black community for 60 years. Mm. Drug houses. Now, a drug house can be fixed. A drug house is an activity happening inside a dry frame house. Oh. That means they, they ain't getting rained on. You know, somebody, some, some, somebody is maintaining the yard. Somebody's doing <clears> stuff. <throat> the house ain't did nothing. It's mm-hmm. the activity. Yeah. So, Got it. so because you was, you were doing something illegal inside the house, we're gonna take the house. Now we got a vacant lot. What the hell are we gonna do with a vacant lot? Yeah. That, that's that, that that's why we where we at now. Mm-hmm. You know, right. we don't tore down so many houses. We ain't got nowhere to go. We got a call. A caller, welcome to Porch Talk, Talk Radio. Who are you? Where you calling from? And what are you? Hello. Hello? Joe Robinson. Hello, Eddie. Joe! Joe Robinson, my friend. From calling the West Camp. I'm going to cut my yard listening to what I had to call. Man, man, you're getting better and better. You're getting better and better like a fine wine with your dissertation and keeping it real. Man, if they listen to you, man, they're going to all be ours in a minute, man. <laughs> Let me just say this, okay? After that FBI raid, everybody know I'm not the FBI role. Okay, I know how they roll. Look here. Trump, man, and the Republican Party, the beat went out and it jumped. That's the leader that moved, I said, from all my sources, both north and south, and I'm going to tell you who it's going to be. going to vote Republican left, right, up, down, around the corner, in the box, out the box. It's going to be the Hispanic. Then I rolled over and drove. Big time. And all of them come over that immigration line. Guess what? They both Republican, man. Let me get out of here, Eddie. Get back to cut my yard. Man, keep it real like y'all been keeping it real. And man, you told them right. Throw some collard greens in your yard, man. Go eat some vegetables out there. Stop paying for all that pesticide stuff in the soap. <laughs> Everybody know I'm the collard green. I'm the collard green king, man, in West Tampa. I go the biggest and the bad. I don't use no fertilizer at all, just like you said. But anyway, man, go ahead and keep it real. Great show. And go buck. Hopefully they'll win tonight. Yes. Right, it's like preseason. It don't count. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Bye bye. You know, Eddie, they're showing a 60% uh, right now on the polling of the Hispanic population in this nation. That is, they, they've always had a conservative lifestyle, uh, but and they're not buying all of this baloney from the Democratic Party. But right now, the numbers are coming in extremely strong that the population, uh, the Hispanic population, will carry the Republican vote this coming cycle and on into 2024. So, it, and it, they've got a lot of new Hispanic stations that are coming online that are conservative. George Soros is doing his best to buy them back and go do something else, but the Hispanics, they, they're tired of it. They, they don't want Mexico in America, and they don't want that kind of leadership in America. That's why they're going to vote conservative. 
Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. I just want, I just want to make sure that folks understand that my mission, mm -hmm. and, and and if you listen, like 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 my brother in Clearwater, who who called in. There is an opportunity right now to change. See, because when I ask Democrats, you know, what I ask black Democrats, what had the Democratic Party done for them? They can't find nothing. I can find a whole bunch that the Republican Party has done for them. Mm. But, but see, they rather rationalize and, 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 and go by what well, somebody said something 50 years ago or 60 years ago and and I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold that, you know, to be true. Yeah. Now, 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 I've been telling them about thousands and thousands of years ago, you know, they set out to to make you lesser, matter of fact, make you the <clears throat> lessest person on this planet. Mm. Blacks are the lowest of the low. Mm. It ain't about your, your mind or your heart mm. or your muscles or mm. this or that. Mm. It's, it's an ideology. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and because it's out there, they keep perpetuating it. Yeah. So it ain't nothing you can do. As, as black folks, we can't overpower what's already out there. But I'm going to tell you what we do mm. and what I do. And I do it, you know, probably, you know, a hundredfold for each of you out there. But if you take on the mantle that I am going to change mm. the way other people see me. I don't, I worked in temperature in hospital for 20 years. And the whole time I was there, I had bosses, I had people that outranked me in the business itself, but not one man or woman that worked at temperature in hospital would disrespect me. See, that's, mm. see, that's the thing. See, I can do the job, I, I, can, I can work with the people, I can work with the patients, but when you start doing that belittling, you know, like you looking down on something or somebody, no, you don't look down on me. Mm -hmm. I don't look down at nobody. I don't look up at nobody. That's good. And I'm not going to take it. You know, and see, 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 a lot of folks are afraid to, to, to not have somebody take advantage of them or look down on them, you know, because they're afraid of losing their job. If I ain't done something to lose my job for well, if I ain't done done something, and, and you come with some some kind of backward, you know, back 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 butt stuff, you know, mm -hmm. I ain't, you know, you got the wrong one, mm -hmm. and I would tell you that. And anybody who was there at Temple Journal when I was there, they would tell you, my boss, in the department that I'm in, you rank higher and you may make more money than me, but you're not a better person than mm -hmm. I am. So don't so don't come with me like you could just talk. I'm not a child, mm -hmm. and when I was there, I wasn't even a child. So there's a there's a quorum mm -hmm. of of how you deal with other people, and, and and a lot of white people got used to just talking down and talking at black folks. That's as much your problem as it was theirs. Don't take it. Oh, but you know, I gotta. There's there, there, there there's a environment, there's a universe that controls everything. And you're in it, and so are they. Don't take it. There you go. On this day, August the 13th, 1906, black soldiers accused of raiding Brownsville, Texas, despite support from the local commanding officer President Teddy Roosevelt ordered dishonorably discharged for the 67 soldiers. Hmm. All of them were cleared of wrongdoing in 1972. 165 posthumously. Oh, that's what they said. So that means of the 19... Of the one of the sixty-seven soldiers, one hundred sixty-five of them were dead by the time they got there. Wrongdoing dismissed. Uh, On this day, August 13, 
Carl Whitman began Greyhound, the first U.S. bus line in Minnesota. Mm. Yeah, bus line. Greyhound started in Minnesota. On, the, on this day, August 13, 1920, flag, a flag designed by Marcus Garvey, consisting of three horizontal stripes of red, black, and green. On this day, that flag became the Pan Am, Pan African flag. Oh, okay. On this day, August 13, 1942, and I know a lot of you heard about it because it's on TV. The Manhattan Project commences hmm. under the direction of U.S. General Leslie Groves. Its aim to deliver an atomic bomb. Success. So they did it, <laughs> Gabriel. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, you know, Triscuits, if you guys have had Triscuits, it's the perfect snack for anyone that has ever want, had the urge to eat wicker furniture. There just is no other nice way to put that one. Uh, there's so much going on, folks. The Democrats' inflation program they've been running. You know, I've got something here on the inflation here real quick. I'm trying to figure out where it is. It was a Ronald Reagan phrase that said, inflation is not because you... Uh, the consumer is living too good. Inflation is because the government is living too good and is spending too much money. So all of this inflation thing going on right now, this is government caused, government controlled. You and I didn't ask for this. The Democrats are, have the checkbook and they are writing checks left and right like crazy. We've got 260 billion was given to the chip industry to make chips in America. By the way, those chips are actually made in China yep. and still being shipped to America. That was $260 billion being given to the chip industry. It's going to go nowhere. How about $260 billion now being given to climate change? Oh, that's solar panels. Oh, that's in China. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of this money, folks, is just absolute lunacy. Now, China has been very successful in America with something called elite capture. For example, Mitch McCallum's wife, she's got, a, she's got several Chinese businesses and she builds Chinese ships using, using Chinese financing. Isn't that weird? Huh, how about that? Uh, now, moving on to the happier news, here's a good prayer for everybody. God, I love you. I'm just biding my time till you play your trump card. Amen. Try to get that out a little bit earlier today. Uh, meanwhile, as we move along, isn't it weird that America, our flag and our culture offend so many people, but our benefits don't? Isn't that weird? Uh, the U.S. approved an additional $4.5 billion package to the Ukraine because we got to hide all the corruption from all our politicians here in America. So that's why every week we give them billions to hide that corruption. Meanwhile, he keeps buying mansions, like the one out in Miami he has, Mr. Zelensky. Uh, so, but a lot, of, a lot of great news here, folks. Uh, we don't have inflation because we're living too well. We have because the government is living too well. Uh, Mr. Trump has endorsed 192 candidates to positions of power, and only 11 have lost. His numbers are doing astronomical. I believe Obama had promoted eight and seven lost. So they finally stopped providing the motor their, their program. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, also, the, uh, the, the new virus, the Lang Langua La La Leva virus, it has to do with uh, shrews, small animals, uh, and hedgehogs, and moles. So if you have any of those around your house, look out, you, you could be in trouble. And uh, I think that about gets it for me, Eddie. Just a lot of great stuff happening in the news. I think there's anything going on. Everybody just, everybody just keep praying, please. Yes, and tonight the Bucks have their first preseason game. They they play in the Miami. Are they the favorite? Well, this preseason, so it don't matter whether they win or not. Nobody nobody cares. It's just to <laughs> see see who's who's new to the team and and who who's new on the roster. Generate ticket sales. Generate some money. Right. Yeah, that, that's how that's how we stay. Bottom line. So, Tampa Bay. Until next week. At the same bat time, same bat station. Us here at Porch Talk Radio, we love you. God bless America. Bye-bye.